percent, 60%, 60%, 70%, 80%. Hello guys from my studio company. Welcome back to my channel. Today it's look at it, look at this. I'm a like a doctor. Today it's all about dehydration. We are going to in deep, not in the water, in the hydration story. What's the hydration? How? Why? What's the percentage? Because everything, look at this, I have everything written down. I'm gonna try to put everything in the description. And let's start right here, look at this. 50, 60, 70, 80, done. Let's start this video and uh, smash the like, subscribe, we're almost to one million, and uh, watch until the end, it's totally free. Here we go guys, the oven is warming up, and now we can go ahead and start this video. So we have, like you can see here, different hydration, but of course I'm gonna use everything Polish. So all the dough is made with Polish. Here I'm gonna go ahead and put 200 grams each, because at the end of this video I'm going to do the all four pizzas together and we are able to see it side by side. I'm gonna explain to you this, let me get this 200 grams of Polish for all the dough that we're gonna make. Here we are using uh, all the same Polish and uh, I'm scaling 200 grams because uh, this is made with 100 milliliter of water and 100 grams of flour. Always remember when you do a recipe to calculate what you have in the Polish. So let's start with the 50%. 200 grams of Polish, 200 milligrams of water, 10 grams of salt, 500 grams of flour. So Remember the Polish, you have to always calculate this. That makes the total of, uh, together, 600 grams of flour and total of water. We have 200 milliliters here and 100 here, so we have 300. 300, 600 grams of flour, that makes 50% of uh, hydration. So, and same thing here. Okay guys, I'm going to start this recipe with uh, 50%. Why 50%? Because the 50% it takes more time to grow. And let's put uh, Polish everything because when is uh, when you're making small amount of dough, it's very important that you go really precise. Flour and uh, 10 grams of salt. Super super slow. 200 milliliters of cold water. We had only half amount. This dough it's uh, really really hard. That means that it's gonna get dry really quick, but the benefit of 50% is that it's super easy to work. It will not get stuck on your counter. It's super easy to put it on the peel. And uh, this is very hard to make holes. And also this dough, and it's easy to fly out. So if you wanna do some acrobatics, super easy to fly the pizza because it will not broke and the gluten is much stronger. And then the same thing, when you're going to cook the pizza, you have to cook this pizza with a high flame. And of course, the texture of this pizza is going to be really dry and uh, more more crispy compared to the other. And you can see the air on the cross is a little bit uh, less. Okay guys, we can start at 60% of hydration. Let's go ahead and let's do the same thing here. We're gonna put uh, 200 grams of uh, Polish, 400 grams of uh, flour, and 10 grams of uh, salt and the water we have 200 grams which i'm going to add only half amount the rest save it there let's go ahead and let's start this dough always slow speed and we're gonna work the dough until we absorb all the water and here same thing a little bit of olive oil and then boom i'm gonna keep this 60 percent right here and this way we don't get confused and i'm gonna let it rest for one hour too 60 percent is the most used hydration in the world of pizza because the pizza also is uh, it's easy to work it will not stick to the table you can use less flour in the dough you can uh, do some acrobatic not too much usually it's 60 percent is good when you make a lot of pizza so you go secure that you're not gonna make holes you can make uh, you can stretch 10 pizzas 15 pizzas so the pizza will not break also you can cook this pizza with a high flame or low flame typical in between uh, very easy to work and the texture is uh, nice crunchy and a little bit soft not super soft like i like it but it's still really good and here we go guys 70 percent oh. 70 percent hydration which is my favorite dough because this is the perfect texture 
that you are gonna have for the pizza so again same thing here 200 grams of polish 325 grams of flour 10 grams of salt and 200 grams of water of course here let's put f amount let's go ahead and let's start this okay guys 70 percent hydration i love to talk about this hydration because it's super digestible super easy to work really soft when you stretch it doesn't get back so it's uh, super soft like you can see the dose it's uh, easy to work and will not get stuck so but it's not super dry the perfect texture of the pizza and then like you can see when you put the old ingredients and go in the oven you can cook this pizza even with a low flame it will come out nice super puffy and now like you can see it's we have the perfect texture soft and crunchy for me it's perfect pizza and the perfect hydration that we have voila this dough is ready why is the perfect hydration that you can make for your pizza i always suggest to make this because even on my master class clean it up like you can see even this one is super strong the structure of the gluten now we create the ball see it's uh, super easy to work it's still dry but also you have uh, air inside which is uh, nice and uh, what i want a little bit of uh, olive oil on this one too there we go and uh, let's close the 70 percent hydration now let's let it rest for one hour and let's start the 80 percent which is a little bit different guys because to make 80 percent of hydration you have to add the manitoba flour manitoba flour is a flour that super strong and this is why we're using this super strong flour because to reach the high hydration so now let's add 200 grams of flour we're gonna add 75 grams of uh, manitoba 275 grams of flour mixed with uh, manitoba 200 grams of uh, polish 10 grams of uh, salt and same thing here 200 grams of uh, water let's add f let's start this with a really slow speed uh, because this is gonna be a little bit difficult to make and 80 uh, percent guys is a very high hydration is a super sticky and uh, it's a really hard to make so you have to have a dough machine like this one to be able to make a high hydration like 80 percent this dough you can see when you stretch it is super soft you cannot work it too much you have to make a small and then you have to put all the ingredients and then you can make a big on the peel and then also is uh, again it's super sticky so this pizza cannot be cooked with uh, high flame otherwise the pizza will not be able to cook in inside so but the benefit of this pizza are uh, that is a super super digestible because it's like drinking water like you can see the pizza outside the oven is a really puffy pizza so if you want to have a, a nice puffy crust this is the way to do and uh, when you open it, it's full of air and uh, is super again puffy it's uh, called contemporanea so if you want to make a, a good looking pizza go ahead and go with 80 percent but of course guys if you are working on a pizzeria 80 percent it's uh, not the way to go voila guys the dough it's ready 80 percent wow that got me so much trouble it took me 15 minutes to make it like you can see look at this it's water but it's uh, super strong little bit of uh, olive oil on, on your hands this way it doesn't get stuck now try to detach like that and put it on top of the counter whoa all of oil on the dough right, and your hands top 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 on top here and guys try to form a ball use your hands super quick this dough is like uh, ice cream and uh, let's go ahead let's cover up and let's wait a little bit less so this is because this high hydration is gonna grow so fast so here we're gonna wait 30 minutes and uh, at the same time i'm gonna go ahead and show you after one hour all together how they look like and they're ready to make the balls okay after one hour let's see how the dough is we got 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent and uh, the most sticky one 80 percent so like you can see super hard now let's see this one a little bit softer this is super like uh, nice and soft my perfection and this is really 
the sticky one. Now let's put this one right here. I want to do something really nice for you. I have everything right down here, 50, 60, 70 percent. So let's go ahead. Let me, I'm going to make the balls all together. Like you can see, wow, this is super hard. A really hard uh, dough. Oh, man. <laughs> durissimo. Ok, one. And also, of course, guys, the less is the hydration, the more dough you get. Because, of course, it's more flour. So let's set up here everything, the balls. And now, before we finish this, let's go ahead and let's do this. I'm gonna close it and then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the hydration, how important it is, because that is gonna change also the timing for growing. So I wanna explain you that when the dough is ready before making the pizza. So now, look at this, the hydration, how important it is. On the 50%, we have left 215 grams, which is, I can make as another dough. 60%, we have 140 grams. 70%, we have uh, 51 grams. And 80%, we have only 10 grams left. How, did you see how the hydration changed everything? So that's why it's super important. Okay, guys, the oven is ready. Everything is ready. It's been one hour on the clock exactly. Come here. Let me show you a, how is the dough and explain it to you a couple of things. Voila. Like you can see, 80%, it's really good and soft and is ready. 70% of course, it's a perfection. Then we have 60% which is hard and this is 50%, look at this. It's super hard. It's gonna be hard even to make. Well now guys, I'm gonna make all four and then I'm gonna put all one next to the other one and we, see, we can see all the differences. So go ahead, come on. Let's smash the like and the share. Share, share, it's totally free. Let's go ahead, can't wait to make it and taste it all together. Okay guys, now it's your turn to write down in comment which one you prefer. 50%, super, super dry. 60%, it's all right, but it's dry. 70%, my favorite. And 80%, super soft, no crunch. So guys, tell me in the below which one is the best for you for the soft and crunchy. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please go ahead, subscribe and I'll uh, see you soon.